The system modeled in the previous part has a deterministic behavior. This means that, if we executed several replications, we would observe the same result. In this second part, we relax this assumption and we model a stochastic system. Specifically, the part inter-arrival times are exponentially distributed with expected value equal to 3 minutes. The inspection times are again exponentially distributed with expected value equal to 2 minutes and half. We first zoom into the arena model by using the magnifying button. Click it, and select the region of the model you want to enlarge. Open the create block, and replace the deterministic inter-arrival time with the function expo of 3. Notice that 3 is between brackets. In a similar way, we change the inspection time by replacing the value 2.5 with expo of 2.5. Check the Check the model. Save it. And run the experiment. You will notice that results are very different from the previous ones. This is despite the expectations of the exponential distributions have the same values as in the deterministic case. The system time is around 19 minutes, against 2.5 minutes of the previous experiment. The buffer is not always empty. In the buffer there are 5.68 parts on average. The number of total inspected parts is 3,466. This experiment is only one of the all the possible evolutions. If we ran another experiment with different random numbers, we would obtain different results. This is the reason why we need to run more than one replication and make a statistical analysis of simulation output. To change the number of replications, simply open the replicate element instruction, and modify the parameter number of replications, the first on top. But, how many replications? To answer this question, there are specific techniques. We'll see this in theoretical classes. Now. After having input 5 replications, execute the experiment and see all the results in the output file. You will find detailed results replication by replication, plus a summary at the end of the file.